Good morning to everyone. So what we're going to do today is to add questions in our question bank using what we call as ICANN format. <coughs> so ICANN format is a format used for Moodle um, question banks in order to easily import questions. So what we need to prepare first is an ICANN format um, question banks or list of questions um, that is written or encoded in a notepad or in a text file. So the icon format looks like this. So the questions must be on the first line without multiple lines of the question, uh, without um, um, entering um, white lines. So you just write the entire question continuously. And then the the choices um, must be um, on a separate line, let's say for example A, and it, it must be on an uppercase letter A, so and then period and then space, and then you write the you write the um, your choice and then you make sure to place a period. And then same with the option B, you write the uppercase B then period, space, and then the option B, um, answer or uh, option basically, and then period. And then same with the option C and option D. And then you write um, the answer on the last option. In this case, the last option is D. And then you write um, the word answer in uppercase and then colon and then space and then write the correct answer. So in this case, letter D. So please um, don't forget that it must also be in uppercase. So this is another question. Do not um, write numbers um, on our question. So um, it is considered in sequential order already that um, what is presented in the first question is your question one to be added in the question bank. And then the second question is basically the question number two to be added in the question bank. So this is another example, okay, and then the options, and then the answer, colon, and then the letter of the answer. Now you save it in a text file, okay, so let's save it in a different file, let's say sample quiz bank 2, and then you go to your um, Moodle um, page, and you... Um, browse to your Moodle uh, course page. Uh, sorry, on the course management rather. So then you click question bank. And then you go to import. And then you just select I can format. And then after that, you will choose the file. So let's, you will need to browse or navigate to your file. So this is the file that we have created, sample quiz 2, that you need to click it open, and then upload this file. So once uploaded, so please make sure that the file maxi the file is only tw below 20 MB, and then click import, and then there will be just, um, so once um, it is um, successfully parsed, and imported, so uh, it will ask for to continue um, the importing of the question to the question bank, and then click continue. And then as you notice in your question bank, um, it has already been added, okay? So this is the, the name of uh, uh, the, the, your questions added. So if you want to click the question, so as you notice, this is the question. Now, if you want to edit, you can edit um, your question. Um, let's say, for example, you want to edit this. You just click edit, and then if you want to edit the answer, etc. And then um, we will go now to our um, quiz. So let's try to add it on our quiz or your exam. So example quiz and then sample quiz one 
So I'll just make sure, uh, just choose the int all defaults because we'll just be adding the questions and then edit quiz and then we'll be adding questions from our question bank which is already added using the icon format. Okay. Um, so th there, this is our two questions that added using the icon format and then you can now add it to your question. Okay, or to your quiz. Then save and let's go to the quiz and then you can preview the quiz if you want to. All right? So thank you for listening. I hope you have learned about how to add or import questions to your question bank using the icon format.